I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is the Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted Review by Barefoot Gaming. Five Nights at Freddy's, for those of you that are unaware, is what kind of game, Louie? It is a puzzle game with a high endurance four jump scares. Yeah, so the game is going to keep you on the edge of your seat by having you do a bunch of tasks while trying to not get destroyed or eaten or devoured or whatever. So for those of you that are familiar with Five Nights at Freddy's, this is not all new. If you have beat version one, two, three, four, for example, yep. you're gonna play the exact same levels, exactly the same, Yep. but in VR. Which is still going to be better visually. So it has Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then there's Parts and Service, Vent Repair, and Night Terrors. All of that combined, there are 26 different levels. And then after you've completed a set within a level, you can unlock a more difficult version of them. Yeah, there's this big battery pack with the switch on the side, and it'll bring you to a more intense level where the baddies are both more ferocious, they're slightly different in some cases, but they are way faster. So let's talk about what you do in a level. Now we're going spoiler free, you aren't going to see any gameplay past like level one, stage one. We did this intentionally because we don't want you to have to worry about yes. getting all the answers here. So what you do is you sit down at your monitors and you just start flipping through surveillance channels and you start looking and you start following the creatures through the map and as they get close, you start shutting doors or turning on lights or or whipping around your flashlight. So the way it kind of makes it more difficult is the fact that you can't just close the doors and leave them closed. Because for right. some reason they've wired the doors up to power. Yeah. And you only have a certain amount of power and when that's gone, they're gonna get you. You have to make that's it right. till five in the morning for most of the missions. It's a very eco-friendly place. Yeah. So this is available on the HTC Vive, the Oculus Rift, Windows Mixed Reality, PlayStation VR, and all the variants in between. Yes. So your Pimaxes and your HP reverbs and your... you It's for everything. Yeah. Everything VR. This game supports standing. It supports room scale. You do have to be able to move around a little bit. I don't didn't see any snap turning or anything like that. Not all the levels are just standing in a booth That's right. and doing things. So we gave you an example of the first level, which there are four stages within. Yep. In the second one, they change all the rules. In the third one, they change all the rules again. Because they're coming from different games and they rebooted the game each time. Yeah. And the last couple of levels feel more built for a VR room scale yes. than all of the, the ones that have been rehashed. Just because it feels like, okay, well they gave you a little room and now you're actually moving around a fair amount. You're not just flipping switches, you're actually looking down vents and actually trying to stop yeah. the, the guys from getting you beforehand and stuff. They have a really good feel in VR. Yep. I, don't, I don't know that a pancake version would have that feel. Okay, so we've talked about the gameplay, we've talked about what you do, which is just press a lot of buttons. Yep. There is almost no teleport movement, there's almost no sliding movement, there is one version I think Night Terrors. Yes. Where you can actually like teleport to different spots. Teleport to very fixed spots back and forth and use your flashlight just to keep the animatronics at bay or in their drawers. And there's always some restriction. There's that one level where you have to uh, only catch them in your light when they're on an X in the middle yes. of the room, for and example. Then you win. And then you win. Otherwise, you just hold the flashlight on there till the end and you and won't you run lose. out and you lose. So. That's, that's the game. Let's yep. review this thing. Let's score it. Let's score this thing out of five, Louis. The price is $34.99 Canadian. It's $30 US, 30 pounds. Louis, give me pros, give me cons. Score it. I really enjoyed the parts that I had to fix things or I had to, you know, follow a wire back. As simple as that seemed, they were very rushed. You were trying to avoid big skeletonized animatronic from getting you. The graphics I felt were really, really good because I've seen how they look on just a regular screen and it didn't do anything for me when I've seen it like that. But this 
had a totally totally different vibe to it. Yep. Um, my only real problem with it is the price. These are games that, for the most part, have already existed. I'm not a huge fan of the price. Still, though, I'm gonna give this a three and three quarters out of five. I really enjoyed the gameplay, even if it is a touch on the repetitive side. For my pros and cons, I am going to say the game looks good. It looks like you would hope Five Nights at Freddy's would look in VR. If you don't like horror and jump scares, stay away from this game. If you like Five Nights at Freddy's, buy it anyway, right? It's Five Nights at Freddy's in VR. Yep. It looks good. It looks like what you're going to expect. The puzzles aren't cheap. They don't do an awful lot of explaining. And that would be a con for me because, uh, especially when we were trying to figure out exactly how to stop like that, that stupid X in the middle of the floor, we're like, our batteries aren't running out in our flashlight yep. yet what's going on like do we need to be looking at the side do we yep. need to we were just holding the bad guy in place and then we would lose so in a lot of them there is voiceover that'll tell you what to do like if you're fixing a broken animatronic you know dude it'll tell you okay you know make sure you do this then do this then do this if you follow it in the wrong order the thing will jump out and it'll kill you that's great that's yep. good instructions but the instructions aren't that way throughout and some of them get a little frustrating like there's a mask that you can put on that will work to hide you from the, some of the animatronics the animatronic and sound will help out with another animatronic but they don't tell you which ones you kind of have to lose a few times you have to lose a lot yeah. to figure it out so that's a bit of a con as louis said the whole fact that you know that if you've played through them and you know the solutions to them the solutions aren't going to be different yep. so if you've played through five nights at freddy's you will already know how to beat the first right. four stages and then there's only a couple more stages it's neat if you haven't experienced it so i'm going to score this a three and a half out of five my biggest complaint is the fact that it feels very repetitive once you know how to beat a level you know how to beat the level going back into it it's not going to play out different they may take a different path if the price goes down or if you can catch it on sale i would recommend it even higher only if you like horror and jump scares i happen to appreciate that sort of stuff in vr if that isn't your cup of tea stay far away from this game yeah and that's it that's our scores don't forget to subscribe comment if you have questions like share we love it when you guys share yep. and we're out of here we'll talk to you again real soon see ya